As many Americans gather to celebrate holidays in the coming weeks, they could be increasing their risk of exposure to infectious diseases. KFF, a health research organization, says at least one person in nearly 40% of the surveyed households was sick with either COVID-19, RSV, or the flu during the holidays last year. So here to walk us through the health risks and uh, prevention methods is Dr. Mati uh, Schlachayo-Davis. I tried to practice that before I had to say it. Uh, she's the Director of Health for the, Saint, uh, for the City of St. Louis. Thank you so much uh, for joining us, doctor. Um, let's get into it. What's most concerning about this, flu, this cold and flu season for you? Listen, we're here. Flu season is here. Respiratory virus series, a, a, a season is here. And as an ID doc, you know, it's just to remind people that while we look at the top three, um, COVID, flu, and RSV, there are over 40 respiratory viruses out there. But thankfully, most of the things we have to do to protect ourselves are common through all of them. Mm. Um, one of the top things I'm telling people is stay home if you're sick. Please stay home if you're sick. And that includes keeping kids home when you're sick. That's the best way that we can stop getting others sick, right? Um, but the things that I know you're tired of hearing me and others say during COVID stand true, right? Um, try to social distance if you're indoors, um, especially if you are older or have an immune, immunocompromised uh, system, a mask indoors. Um, wash your hands often as well. Um, and then if you haven't, please, please get your flu shot um, and your COVID booster if you haven't gotten it, if it's been two months or more. Okay, so when it comes to these vaccines, right, I think it's, it's getting a little dizzying. Do what, What's your recommendation? Do people get them all at once? Uh, do you prioritize certain vaccines over others? What would you tell them to do? That's such a great question. We actually looked at this very carefully during the pandemic to see is there any negative impact any negative effects from getting um, two vaccines or more at the same time. And there, are, there just aren't. Um, we would prefer people get their vaccines earlier than later, um, not to take the risk. And there are no um, risks. It doesn't weaken your immune system. It doesn't uh, cause it to be less impactful. Um, and certainly the idea that you will have more side effects is just not true. It doesn't have an additive effect. So if you need to get them at the same time and you can from the same location, please do so. And I know, you know, we've stopped talking about variants, but there are actually sort of other variants floating around out there of, of COVID. I guess they're all generally children of strains that we've already been exposed to, but is there a concern? Are doctors keeping an eye on some of these other variants and how different are they? I can understand why hearing about a new variant can be worrying to folks, but this is so, um, normal in the biology of viruses. Viruses are always evolving. They always have variants. In fact, we didn't even report on all of the variants that we saw during COVID because some of them were benign, mm. right? So, so I think living with the fact that you're always going to see a new variant um, and, uh, and knowing that those who do this research, those who do this type of science will keep us um, informed as to whether there comes a variant that either is much more transmissible, so spreads more, or much more severe, or so makes people sicker. But other than that, we haven't seen too much of a difference. This the the um, the Aris, this EG5 variant is quickly becoming the dominant strain in the U.S. Um, but Om Omicron has had that seat for quite some some time. Mm -hmm. All right, doctor, thank you very much.